Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the show. Today we're talking all about moss poles, uh, which is a great way to train up your climbing uh, house plants vertically. And actually, as you can see, the plants uh, kind of actually kind of take to it. They, they kind of trigger something and naturally they just love it. And once you get them climbing upwards, they just go nuts. So here you can see some of the different pothos that we have, some philodendron, um, a monstera even right here, a couple of them. We have a couple different varieties here uh, of moss pole that we made. If you want to learn how to make these moss poles, Go ahead and look up in the corner right there. I'll link that, that other video in there where you can kind of see step by step how we made these. Long story short, it wasn't that hard. It is pretty simple and easy. And you can, and actually there's many different ways to do it. We actually just did a couple different ways here to show you. This one has a, a coconut mat, kind of a skin, if you will. Use a lot of juke twine and whatnot. My other one that we have here, and I'll show you a close up later. This one is a more traditional moss pole that uses sphagnum moss and has like a wire cage around it. Some people will use uh, this hardware cloth, which is metallic, metal. Um, other folks I've seen online uh, think are pretty cool and looks really similar that uses um, like a plastic uh, mesh fencing um, that you can just cut and zip tie together. That's what we did um, with these. But like I said, there's a lot, a lot of different ways to do it. But in today's episode, I'm gonna show off our newest uh, moss pole, one I'm super excited to show you off. Uh, show off to you because it is massive. Uh, just for fun, we made one a while back for this pretty mature pothos that we had, this epiprinum. And uh, it was a pretty good moss pole, about three and a half, four feet tall. Um, I'm looking online and you can, a lot of people are selling these at different sizes, you know, two feet, three feet, four feet. Uh, but we went uh, one step above. I'm gonna put a challenge to all you uh, growers out there. If you can beat this moss pole, um, please send me uh, your video or a link or a message. I would like to see your moss poles. If they're if they're bigger and badder than, than this one, um, like I said, there's a lot of people out there that make them and do a wonderful job, which is great. But today we're gonna show off our newest one that is just massive. I'm gonna say right here, I think it's the world's largest moss pole. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right. So as you can see, here, here's the ones that we've already done. These have been growing for a few months. Here's the coconut mat one, the monstera, and then of course one with uh, sphagnum moss in there, and they're doing pretty well. Uh, these vines seem to like it some plants um, need a little bit more uh, support and help and kind of encouragement with with tying them to get them a little bit more used to growing on that pole you can see there with that monstera same thing with the pothos it just takes a little bit of effort but now it's starting to root in there but one that's just going crazy if you look at this one i only have it tied on right here and then the rest of this is all it's using its little root system to grip in there and grow so that one um, is doing great i think that's a mic hands um, just an awesome, awesome um, little grower right there. But like I said, I wanted to show off to you what I'm really proud of. Like here's some little stubby moss poles we did, right? Little two footers. Um, but we, like I said, we had this, this big old mature pot here, large container, maybe 20 gallon or so. Nice, nice solid um, <laughs> vine in there. And it, we had one about three and a half feet tall or so, and it ended right about here. And so I, the other day I was like, you know what? Let's see if we can make an extension, snap two of them together, almost like a big moss pole Lego piece and check that out. Look at that moss pole. <laughs> that has got to be one of the largest moss poles I know I've ever seen um, and made for sure. Maybe there's somebody out there, like I said in the comments, let me know if you've seen one bigger or you've built one larger. I'd love to hear about it, see about it. But this one, I think we measured it. It's actually from the pot to the ceiling. It's it's actually taller than our door. So if we ever want to get it out of our classroom, we're going to have to uh, lean it down a little bit. But you know what? I think it's going to live in here for the foreseeable future and be a little showpiece for us. Be, uh, be a great way to show off this plant and train it up. It's actually since we've added it earlier this week, the plant, we've kind of helped it out and it's already starting to push out new growth and go up because it actually had maxed out. It stopped right there and it ran out of space. And I was like, you know what? I don't want a little little three and a half foot pole, man. I want like a seven and a half, eight foot pole. And so that's about where we're at right now is we're at about an eight foot moss pole. Um, the kids had a fun time making it. And this is uh, has a PVC core, just old PVC pipe in the, in the center of it, which was great because it actually allowed us to link the PVC core in this one to the PVC core uh, of the new piece. And they actually snapped together with a pretty good coupling. And so they're held that way. And then of course we attached the two pieces with a bunch of zip ties to kind of hold them together. Yes, it is uh, a bit wobbly, um, but hopefully uh, over time we um, we can support it as needed or um, we'll just try to be delicate with it and uh, not not play with it too much. But man, an eight foot moss pole, I'm gonna have a, just a great time watching this vine to see how fast it can get to the top there. 
um, which I think will actually go pretty quickly because the vine is um, just already growing like nuts. But uh, I just wanted to show that off to you. This is, I'm gonna say it's the world's tallest moss pole ever. Um, and like I said, and then maybe I'll be, uh, maybe somebody can prove me wrong or beat this one, but uh, I'd like to you know, put that challenge out there to everybody. Um, you know, get your moss pole game going. You can see I added a few different posts in here. We might tie it off to help, help it from getting too wobbly in case it gets pushed, but uh, I'm kind of debating on that. But that's it. Look how big our moss pole is. Like I said, we, it has a PVC core, sphagnum moss filling, um, little hardware, little mesh hardware cloth, and then um, you just roll it over, and then we just zip tie it and kind of suture it together, and then that creates the moss pole. And uh, it's really super simple and easy. Like I said, if you're ever wondering about doing it, um, all the materials we bought at, at, at the nursery down there at Green Acres, um, uh, minus the zip ties, but um, and the hardware cloth actually, but uh, but uh, all the filling and the, you know and the um, the sphagnum moss and the uh, the PVC pipes and whatnot, you can get there of course, or you can go down to like a um, home improvement store or whatever. But just a fun project. I'm really looking forward to this. I think in a business here in the classroom, it's gonna look really cool. But for you know, other people to use maybe inside of a restaurant or a business or um, some kind of facility where you really want to, you know, just a really tall showpiece because this, that, that hopefully we'll come back later and do an update video and I'll get to show off this thing just fully, just, you know, leafed out and covering the entire pole. Eventually, I don't even want to see that pole anymore. I just want to see a column of foliage and greenery to see this, this pothos just go nuts. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please smash that like button, dig right in there. You know, cultivate the subscribe if you can. We'd love to have you here. We're, we're trying to get some more garden friends to come along for the ride. Um, but until then, garden friends, I hope to see you back here soon enough. Happy gardening to you.